guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Daily Racing Show here at Race Plaza Media. We have another busy race weekend ahead of us, so let me break down for you what you can watch, where you can watch it, and when you can watch it. First up, the IndyCar Series is back as well as Indy Next. This time, they will be racing at the Barber Motorsport Park in Birmingham, Alabama. You'll be able to watch both races live through their own websites. And also, just a quick fact for you to know, Theo Prochere will be continuing his Indy stint with McLaren replacing David Malukas since he's still out with an injury. Theo Boucher did excellent last weekend at the Grand Prix of Long Beach, so we will see if he'll be able to continue his success with Indy. Up next, we have a drag race happening this weekend as well in Concord, North Carolina at the Z-Max Dragway. You'll be able to watch that on the NHRA's website, which requires a membership. And moving on to the Great American Race NASCAR, the Cup Series 11th round will be happening at the Dover Motor Speedway in Delaware. We'll be able to see if Kyle Larson will be able to continue his lead in the overall driver's standing. And then also competing at the same racetrack is the Xfinity Series with their 10th race for this season. Currently, the overall championship leader is Chandler Smith. Both of those races you'll be able to watch on Fox Sport 1. Remember to check out our website, Race Plaza Media, where you'll be able to find links to all the different streaming services where all these races will be happening this weekend, as well as links to the series so you can find out exactly what time they're happening where you're currently located. Moving on. Unfortunately, we don't have a Formula 1 race happening this weekend, but... Don't you worry, we have two different formula types racing this weekend. First off, we have Formula E competing in Monte Carlo. Currently, the overall championship lead is tied between Pascal Berlein, who races for Porsche, and Jake Dennis, who competes for Andretti. So we'll see how the race will go this weekend. Just keep in mind, you won't be able to re-watch the race until a week later. So if you want to watch it, watch it live this weekend. The race start time for Los Angeles, where I'm located, is 6.03 a.m. So I'm currently still deciding whether or not I want to get up that early to watch the race. However, Formula E is definitely not something to be missed. Another Formula race that's not to be missed is Formula Four. Yes, Formula Four is super exciting and action-packed. This time it's the Formula Four British Championship. We have rounds one, two, and three happening this weekend at the Donington Park Motorway in Derby, UK. You'll be able to watch that live on YouTube and pretty much right after. So no worries about getting up early. You'll be able to watch at any point this weekend or after. If you want to take a couple steps back from formula, how about some karting? Karting is also happening this weekend. Karting competitions will be happening in France. Round one of the FIA Karting Championship and then round two of the European Championships will be happening this weekend. You'll be able to watch all of those races on YouTube. Now let's move on to the two-wheel racing categories. Of course, back this weekend, our personal fan favorite or one of our fan favorites is AMA Supercross will be returning for round 15 in Philadelphia. And boy, was our heart broken this week already. Ken Rockshin will be out for the remainder of the season. We're also missing, of course, Aaron Plessinger for the remainder of the season. There's so many big names that are already out due to injury. However, the East Coast boys will still be competing in the 250 SX category. And then, of course, we have the 450 SX category. There's still a lot of big names. There's still a big fight for both championships ahead. So definitely tune in. This will be happening on Peacock if you're in the US. However, keep in mind this weekend's race is going to be a little bit earlier than usually, so it's going to be three hours earlier than what you're used to. Also back this weekend is MotoGP, MotoGP2 and MotoGP3. They will all be racing in Spain this weekend. Let's see if they can follow up this amazing race that we had in Austin just recently. What an amazing race it was. If you're in the US, you're 
be able to watch it on HBO either live or shortly after the race. There are still many, many riders competing for the overall championship, so I'm excited to tune in this weekend yet again for another exciting MotoGP race. Lastly, the last two two-wheel championships that I want to mention to you guys is of course the Australian Superbike Championship which will be happening this weekend and also the American Flat Track Championship. Both you'll be able to stream through their website. As mentioned, you'll be able to get all the links on our own website, raceplazamedia.com. Now we talked about the great American races, we talked about two wheel races, we talked about formula races. Now I'll mention to you guys a couple of the single make championships that are happening this weekend. We got three Porsche championships happening this weekend. One is happening in Germany. Another sprint championship for Porsche is happening in Brazil. And then the last one is happening here in the US in Alabama. If Porsche is not your car, then there's also the Ferrari Challenge North America happening this weekend in Austin, Texas. However, if that's also not your jam, there's also the Renault Clio Cup happening this weekend, which is so much fun to watch. I've watched one of the races so far on YouTube. The grid is stacked to the max. There's a lot of contact also happening on the track. It reminds me a little bit of the Mazda MX-5 Cup, so definitely tune in for that as well. You'll be able to watch that on YouTube. There's also the Alpine Euro Cup happening this weekend. All those races you'll be able to watch for free on YouTube. If this is still not enough racing for you, there's so much more racing happening this weekend. There's also the British GT Championship happening this weekend. There's also a GT Challenge in Germany happening this weekend, sponsored by the ADAC or ADAC. Then there's also a Touring Car Championship happening in Britain as well as in Germany. So as you can tell, there's so, so much racing happening and it's only going to get more. We're currently preparing the May 2024 racing schedule. And let me tell you, we're at close to 200 races happening next month alone. So definitely stay tuned for that. Please check out our website, raceplazamedia.com, where you can find all the links to the different series, as well as how to stream those different types of races. And then, of course, you can find out the specific times for when it's happening in your individual time zone. I know I'm super excited for this racing weekend. Of course, I'll be watching my boys at the AMA Supercross, also MotoGP, and I'm sure I will be peeking into many of the other races happening this weekend as well. Please do let me know what you're going to be watching this weekend. I mean, there's so much going on. I'm still debating, as mentioned, if I want to get up early for Formula E, but you know what? I think I might because it is so fun and it's happening in Monaco. So I'm very curious to see those cars racing in Monaco. And with that, thank you guys so much to, for tuning in. Remember to like and follow or subscribe us. And we'll see you guys tomorrow at the Daily Racing Show here at Race Plaza Media. Thank you. Bye-bye.